So let's do a little hardcore, only for geeks, spin tech for hand spinners. I thought that I would do something a little different with this video and I take the camera and put it really close to my hands so that you can get a good look at what I'm doing. I'm going to try and make myself describe every single step, every little minute change that I make as I'm drafting. We're going to start with a little bit of fiber prep. Now this comes from some roving prepared with the fibers going like this and I want to spin it over the fold. Now some spinners will fluff but that, I don't like that. When I want to uh, loosen up my fibers for spinning over the fold I pull them apart lengthwise like that and then stack them lengthwise and stack. I found that I get more even spinning and less slubs that way. Now that it's a little poofier, fold it over the index finger and let's get started. There you go. Here's how I make my join. I've got a little bit of overlap and I let go with my forward hand and let the twist travel. Once I feel I've got a good join, I adjust my rhythm. Now, when you are uh, first starting to spin, it's very common for the spinner to use this hand as a way to pinch down hard and tug forward and then slide back, pinch down and tug forward and slide back. I usually call that the inchworm method. After you've spun up your first, let's say, four ounces of yarn, you want to get away from that and you want to ease up on this forward hand so you're not pinching hard at all. And I know it's very difficult to tell just from looking, but I've gone from pinching down hard to just lightly resting these two fingers together. And I let the wheel do the pulling. And when I need to add some separation between my forward hand and my backwards hand, I usually, I prefer to pull back. Because my forward hand is really a guide. Once you get comfortable with spinning, I think you'll find that your forward hand is really for making sure that the twist doesn't travel from here to here. It's not so much about tugging and pulling. It's about keeping the twist in the front and keeping the fibers loose in the back. Get my thumb out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing there. Okay, next thing I wanted to talk about was this, which is the, called the drafting triangle. And it's a triangle of sorts. You can keep your drafting triangle quite, let's see, let me make a little adjustment here. You can keep it quite long and thin. Or you can shorten it by putting your hands closer together and let's see if I can make it wide the way it was. The size of your drafting triangle is really a matter of preference and also the fiber you're working with. For me it's 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 going to be a natural feel one way or the other, short and wide, which is kind of what I like for this stuff. Or long and thin. And the triangle, the drafting triangle is very easy to see and manipulate when you spin woolen or semi-woolen. There we go. I think that really accurate, accurately shows it right there. Mm -hmm. 
you can see how the fibers just grab onto each other. Okay. Now, back over the fold. Remember to join, have a little bit of overlap, pinch and pull so that I have the spun fiber below and the unspun fiber above and I let them twist together and then give it a firm tug to straighten out and there we go and now I'm all on the new fiber and when I have something like that come through I do I stop usually treadling pinch down here so that none of the twist travels down the yarn and re-grab. I want to straighten out all the fibers that were in my messy drafting triangle. Just like that. And I'll be back on track. Those kinds of small adjustments in tension and speed are something that will come quite naturally to you. It's going to be after a while, a lot like driving a car where you're keeping track of so many variables and so many things and you adjust for them naturally and instinctively that it's hard to explain and put into words what it is you're doing. Draft spinning will be like that. fingers out of the way so that you can see what's going on here and I am just letting the take up from the wheel do most of the pulling here and my forward hand is really a guide and kind of a break of sorts that keeps the twist from traveling backwards into the drafting triangle Hope that was helpful and I can tell that they started jackhammering in the street outside my home just as soon as I started this video I hope that didn't come through on the audio but if it did I want you to know that that is the sound of me getting hopefully my Google Fiber installed and I hope you like the video enjoy